hideaway steaks and stuff. Thanks for being here, guys. Yeah, hello. They brought hi. us hi. They brought us something to drink today. So for those of you who will get the visual on YouTube, we are drinking none other than Hazra Mountain soda, which is what part of what they serve on their little food truck at yep. Sherman Corner. So let's get the good stuff up front. Address how people find you, your phone number, your presence on social media, your blood, not your blood type. Okay. No, no, no we're not going to do that. Today. Not, no, no, not necessary. Let's, let's let people find you. So let's get you on the map. Mm -hmm. So where are you guys? Uh, we are located um, on Route 6 on the corner of 198 and Route 6, the mm -hmm. old Sherman's Corner, if you're familiar with that and if in the area. Mm -hmm. um, or it's 17 Hampton Road. If you want to be technical with the address, so if people, Chaplin, Connecticut. Well, if people, what, what would people put in their Google to find you? Uh, hideaway Sticks and stuff comes right up. Boom. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so we're right on there. You can see us on there. You can see all the reviews and everything. And is Hideaway like one word? Is it got dashes or? Uh, like you can actually type it in with hide dash a dash way stakes and stuff or no dashes. It all comes up. Okay, the same. good. You'll be all right, able to find so they can very find easy. You. Yeah. All right, good. There you are. Uh, and what is your phone number? Do you have a phone um, number? We have, uh, if you want to get in, in touch with there. us for, yeah, you that can one? use that number there. It would be the 860-335-6724. Your presence on social media is? Right on Facebook, Hideaway Stakes and stuff. Uh, same with Instagram. Mm -hmm. Super easy to find us. Yep. All right, let's 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 get to the good stuff because, you know, I'm looking at the menu and I'm already getting hungry. So tell us what you guys are serving up at Hideaway Steaks and Stuff, which really is a it's a converted van, isn't it? It is a Chevy C60 conversion <laughs> van. It's a nice van. It's really nice. <laughs> Chevy turned C60. into a very small kitchen. Yeah. Chevy C60. And that there's a lot you know of what? room in there. It's what? It's a lot of room in there. It's a lot of room? <laughs> yeah. Really? Not really. Ah, you're being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. Cool. I got to get your humor, Floyd. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Chef Floyd here. Chef Floyd. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. what's on your menu? Tell people what's on your menu. Everybody likes the steak and cheese. Pretty much, mm -hmm. and the BLT with avocado. What makes your stick and cheese any different than anyone else wherever I go? Uh, it's I think it's his cheese sauce he makes. The cheese he won't sauce. he won't tell me how no, he does it. Recipe. I, I think I, I I think and so too. Yeah, I think it's, it's cheese that, sauce. It's I, I hear it from a lot of customers that they. They go, oh, the cheese mm. sauce is so good. It I'm is. Like, if you and only knew what was in it, my yeah. friends, <laughs> and I will not tell you. Well, and yeah. they and you know. Cheese steak sandwiches look very different no matter where you go. True. And, yeah. and there's an expectation that it will look a certain way, right? Correct, yeah, especially in this area around here. So what I do people like, expect? Uh, I, I think they're expecting not all. what they're getting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they look at it, don't know what. The, where's the cheese? I said it's mixed <laughs> in with the meat. Everything's chopped up nice and cooked and warmed up, and mm -hmm. it's all... The whole combination. Yep. Even people that have traveled different. from Philly, they have them. And mm -hmm. they've never tasted it like that. So. I I I, lo yeah. I love them. Yeah. I love them, and I love the fact that I mean, a half of one, because you can get a half or a whole, right? Correct. A half of one for me is like it's two meals, and your prices are ridiculously reasonable. Oh, we want to keep it, you know, somewhat reasonable. Prices mm -hmm. on everything have gone through the roof. Mm-hmm. Um, but thankfully. You know, where we are is mm -hmm. very reasonable for us to be there. And the tiny little van doesn't have many <laughs> overhead costs. So, <laughs> no. We do what we can to keep the prices, you know, reasonable for everyone. So, we have steak mm -hmm. cheese sticks, chicken and pastrami cheese steaks. What else do you guys have on the menu? Uh, we have a hot dog mm -hmm. with uh, my homemade sauerkraut. Homemade sauerkraut. Or yeah. we can put the cheese sauce mm -hmm. on there for you if you like that. Ooh. There's a big fat quarter pound hot dog. Those are delicious. They, loaded fries. Fries, fries or fries or loaded fries. What are what's on the loaded fries? You get the mm -hmm. hamburger, onions, and hot peppers and mm -hmm. cheese with it. Basically, it's a cheese steak on the French fries or tater yeah. tots. So that means gluten free. Score! Yes, it can be. I all guess. Right. <laughs> Well, everything is somewhat organic, you know. We have all the food, all the <laughs> all the vegetables, and everything is. Unless you your know. fries have some gluten, I don't know. I would say they're not gluten-free, the French fries. But okay, all right. I was just getting a little excited. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't want to 
to lie to the customers. <laughs> but. All right, but you, if like if a person was gluten free and they came to your truck, you could get a hot dog with the cheese stick stuff on top. No problem. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? You don't have to have a roll. You know, we can. Right. Okay. We can modify things for you. Obviously. No problem with that. You have BLTs with avocado, which is really nice. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, somewhat healthy choice, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. With the bacon. Right? Got grilled cheese with a pickle or tomato, bacon. You have mom's homemade. Mom's homemade chocolate chip cookies. My mother has the claim to fame for those. She's the queen of the chocolate chip cookie? She oh, is. Yeah. She's definitely the queen. And uh, Yeah, go ahead. Those I, are made, sorry. I don't know, fresh mm -hmm. tw uh, twice a week. Unless we sell out every day, then they don't have to be made every day. Hasmer Mountain Soda, which is a really nice mm -hmm. nod to local local businesses, nice partnership, nice collaboration. Yeah. Floyd, I got a feeling you were probably cooking way before you were yeah. making stuff in a truck. Tell us where you've been. Uh, I kind of watched my mom cook pretty much mm -hmm. and just took it from there. So what was she cooking? Oh, southern food. Uh, southern food? Like what? Southern, like fried chicken, ribs, all that stuff. Okra? I don't like okra. <laughs> I just don't. It's just... Okra's not my thing either. <laughs> it's just... I, I like it. He's a master it's... of the pig roast. Yeah. What? Yeah. Pig roast. Pig roast on the side. Yeah. We do special events, pig roasts. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Those are fun. So what kind of things can you do as far as with your truck? Where can you show up? What kind of services can you provide? Um, basically everything that's on the menu there, you know, if you have a, a wedding or a, we did a couple car shows over the summer that just oh. passed um, in Hampton there. Mm -hmm. Everything that's on the menu we bring with us, you know, to the events. Um, we'll gladly cater a different event, you know, if you want us to bring the food there and you can serve it yourself or we can serve it in the truck. You know, we've also done... Mm -hmm different events where I bring the food items separately but cooked and whoever at the home or whatever will put it together uh -huh. themselves mm -hmm. and serve it to their uh, guests. Oh, so we have we have lots of options. Yeah. yeah. Whatever, 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 whatever the customer wants. Whatever, whatever want, the customer we'll wants. It, we'll make it for you. Well, your, your <coughs> menu is is a, a menu that couldn't sit around for a while. It, it really needs to be made fresh, and so you're making food fresh yeah, that's one I mean. order at a time. Most right? definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, nothing uh, sits around. Nothing is sitting there in the warmer, just you know, dying in the window, as they call <laughs> it. Uh, everything's made to order. Fresh. Um, I'm preparing you know, the cheese sauce on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. um, nothing's just sitting around, and I, I can't stand old food and... You know, it's mm -hmm. you can taste the difference. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, you guys are partners in business. So, Jonathan, were you always a food truck person? Were you always a restaurant-y food person? Were you doing something else before you bought that brown truck and converted it? <laughs> I, mean, I have uh, always worked <laughs> in the food service industry, yeah. so to speak. I mm -hmm. worked in a grocery store for a while in the kitchen. I mm -hmm. did catering for a long time. Um, I was bartending during COVID and, uh, you know, lost the position, you know, obviously we couldn't be open during COVID. So right. I went and I had previously purchased this food van on a whim, uh, I don't know, a year or so earlier and it was sitting around and mm -hmm. I had the time and said, boom, we might as well that. get this thing rolling. I have nothing else to do. And so. when did you guys, when did you, when it was like did what, you right open during for the business? winter, right? When we started working on it. Yeah, yeah. The winter, the uh, second winter during COVID. So three years ago now, mm -hmm. uh, we uh, started remodeling that thing. And then we opened up June three years ago. Wow. I just never thought I'd fit in that thing. <laughs> it's a one, one man <laughs> operation inside, <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, I just, I don't even know. And I mean... Floyd, I mean, there's no room to move or stretch or anything, is there? It's yeah, well, you get used to it. You get used to it. Yeah. You can step outside of the van, right? Yeah. And I mean, most busy, kitchens don't have much room anyway. You just need to be able to turn around, <laughs> serve the customer, turn around the food, and serve. That's it. Turn and serve, turn and serve. Turn so, and three years in June, you opened during during the pandemic. That was a pretty bold move mm, yeah. on your part. I think. But it really didn't have a choice. To, it made um, sense, though. Uh, he was saying it, that people can just show up, get their food, and they don't have to be around other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, takeaway service. That's basically where the food service industry went. Mm -hmm. So, yep, you know, just went with what was going on at the time, and 
it's working out. Now at least we can expand a little bit. Times are getting better, I guess they mm -hmm. say. So, you know, we're looking to expand and do more things, move into some more catering and events and a bigger food truck. It's going to be remodeled soon. And you'll see that big yellow sucker driving around town. There's With your new logo and whatever painted on the side kind of thing? Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. That's going to get done, too. Mm -hmm. uh, like a big billboard, you'll see. So, just a question I just thought of. Can you park that thing indoors and still serve from... Inside. Inside. I uh, would say probably not a good idea. You know, with the, the exhaust fumes and whatnot. Not from mm -hmm. the truck itself, but from the hood, you know. Right. Okay. Cooking exhaust. There's a hood in there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like the truck's gonna be running, you know. But um, yeah. yeah. But you gotta you be know, outside. You got the vent and all that stuff. Is that run by generator? It does. Yeah. I mean, it's I, I when I've been there, it's not. I don't hear a noisy generator. I mean, generators are noisy, aren't they? Yeah. It's around back. Yeah, it's in the back. I mean, it's yeah. If you listen for it, you can hear it. But yeah. We try to keep it quiet over there. Well, you guys have really upped your game since you opened because now you have a little outdoor seating area. You have nice little twinkle lights oh, yeah. out there. Mm. Make it comfortable. And I think occasionally I've seen a flag because I whiz past there yeah. every Oh, yeah. I got the cornhole uh, boards out there. You have cornhole out there? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, All right. Yeah. What else is out there that I missed? Uh, what else? It's a picnic table, cornhole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fence area there. We got the little the bear we got out there. Oh yeah, the carved bear. We got oh. a gentleman in town actually uh, <laughs> gave it to us. Carved that. Oh, that's yeah. as a gift kind of thing. That's oh yeah, it was a gift. Yeah, it was a gift, and then one guy, I guess he carved it years ago, and he stopped by. He said that was his work. Yeah, mm -hmm. a friend of mine gave it to me, and so I popped it over there, and then actually the person who carved it saw it when he drove by. Oh. All came right. by and said, hey, look at that thing. I'm the one who carved that. I said, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been sitting in my buddy's house for, I don't know, 10 years or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's about time it got used, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. So what's the policy for, like, can people bring alcohol and drink on the premises? Is there is that okay to do? Or yeah. Not? Yeah, you can bring so your own beer. So it's a BYO? Yeah. You can definitely. do that? Yeah, we're yeah we don't sell it. alcohol, but you can more than welcome bring your own. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you think is... What is something that you think that people don't know about hideaway steaks and stuff? What do you think it's something that people kind of miss, I guess? Um, I would say a lot of people don't even know what the van is when they drive by or yeah. where we are located uh -huh. or what's mm -hmm. going on over there in that mm -hmm. little brown van mm -hmm. um, until someone goes out of their comfort zone and they try scoots it or up they, and they, tries they, it and then boom. Or if they heard it from someone else, and they go, oh, we were wondering what this thing was, you know, who was here. It's a word of mouth thing. Mm -hmm. And word of mouth works really well. Yeah, social it's been doing so. It's pretty good preferred, so My preferred uh, advertising. Yeah, yeah. It's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it is, definitely. And maybe it's credible yeah. because mm. it's maybe like one friend saying to another friend. Yeah, and then so on and so yeah, on. Yeah, it's but the it's, best way. I mean, mm -hmm. you could see advertising on TV all you want, but... Until you actually hear from someone that you yeah. trust or you mm -hmm. go there yourself and experience, you know, the mm -hmm. food that's being served to you, then you get what we're doing. And so how do people get access to where the truck is? It's a little tricky, so can you just verbally walk through that part of things? Uh, I mean, there's a driveway right out front. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll just pull in, and there's a little parking spot. You'll see the fence uh, that's fenced off there, and you just park your car right there. There's plenty of room for parking, so there's a there's a lot of barking that goes on there. There's, there's but, a couple dogs yeah. up there yeah. in the hill, but they're usually like tied up. Right? Oh yeah, yeah so you don't gotta worry yeah. about them. And do people ever? Is there a shoulder on Route Six? Like if someone were to stop right on the highway there? Uh, there is a shoulder. I wouldn't recommend parking. Not there. a good idea. Yeah, yeah not a good yeah. idea. Yeah, a lot of people uh -huh. drive down the shoulder. Yeah, I've seen a few accidents there. Okay, well. Just don't do Stay that, Stay off guys. the yeah. shoulder. Okay, just, just pull right in and park next to the fence there. You'll be fine. There's enough room there. Anyway. And it's pretty easy to get out of there, I think, right? Oh, yeah. Isn't it? Definitely. What's your guys' favorite thing on the menu? Do you have a favorite thing? Like, when you're hungry, what do you eat off of here? I go for the cheese steak. I call it my way, John's way, which is <laughs> steak, onions, <laughs> hot peppers, and cheese. So, uh, does it, so you get to pick from onions, mushrooms... And peppers. Sweet peppers and hot peppers. Correct. Yeah. So that's why you say it's my way. My way is yourself. onions, hot peppers, cheese, and steak. All right. How about you, Floyd? I like the parsley to the chicken. 
Mm-hmm. You like the chicken, yeah. she said? Yeah. And do you put all that stuff on there? Or? Yeah, sometimes I'll just do the onions and mushrooms. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, everybody knows that if you're in any kind of food business, that it's hard work. We all know that. So yes. what do you do when you do have some time and you can kick back and you don't, I don't cook at all? You need to cook, right? <laughs> I take out. Else to cook <laughs> it has got to be somewhere good. <laughs> Find a can of tuna, yeah. Yeah. you know, something. Or go fishing and then cook that. But other than that, we're no. avid fishermen. And yeah, Floyd here. And what are you fishing for? And where do you fish? Anything we can catch, pretty much. Is um, everything not everything is edible? True. Is it? We throw yeah. some stuff back, but okay. Um, you know, in the ocean, I'm mm-hmm. a seagoing person. Yeah. And I have I'm my a, own boat. I'm a captain. I'm a land lover. Yeah, in my zodiac. Not me. I'd rather be out there in the ocean. <laughs> my as zodiac as sign is Pisces. So figure that out. Oh, that yeah. doesn't make sense. There you go. I'm There's not. nothing like being out in the ocean. Well, and you said that before we went on the air, you mentioned something about fish as far as your menu. So maybe you might want to spill that. Yeah, uh, yeah we will have uh, fish specials, we'll have fish tacos, depending on, mm. you know, what's the catch of the day. Nice. Um, which they will be off of my boat. We'll bring it in fresh. and So we'll have only a few fish, you know, from whatever mm-hmm. we caught the day before yeah. or whatever. But mm-hmm. keep an eye out for that. We'll post it online. You'll put it on like Facebook, Facebook or Instagram. Instagram. Or, yep. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. And you were mentioning that there might be some other changes coming up that you could announce here if you would like to. Sure, yeah. We'll be expanding uh, into breakfast, um, opening earlier in the morning mm-hmm. uh, to stir, serve breakfast sandwiches. Mm-hmm. Um, same rolls, which are delicious. Everyone loves the rolls. They are. They are great. It's, yeah, the mm-hmm. bread is an essential piece of the puzzle for mm-hmm. our uh, food here. So, mm-hmm. but we'll have, mm-hmm. you know, bacon, egg and cheese, egg and cheese, uh, avocado toast. Okay. Uh, nothing crazy, simple fruit cups, mm-hmm. you know. Grab and go kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Quick, nice easy, easy, you know, reasonably priced so you're not breaking the bank. We want you to come back and not feel like mm-hmm. you're I mean, not yeah, getting your money. You could, you, you could conceivably go to your truck and you could feed your family and not totally have to feel like you've mortgaged your house or something Definitely. like that. So, yeah. I certainly appreciate that. I mean, I'm looking at the menu, and uh, I know it's just a grilled cheese sandwich with a pickle, but three dollars. I mean, that's that's pretty uh, remarkable. Yeah. That's more than reasonable. So uh, I I certainly appreciate that. Plus, it's on the grill, and it gets all nice and crunchy oh, yeah. mm-hmm. and all melty and stuff like that. So everything tastes better when someone else cooks it for you. Exactly. I think that's true. <laughs> it's uh, you know I'd rather wash someone else's dishes than mine. So yeah, right. I think that's kind of how it goes. Uh, I was going to ask you about. Oh, I lost my train of thought here. Uh, Mm-hmm. Well, wow, it was quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, quiet okay. here. That's usually me. <laughs> I know what I was going to say. <laughs> Hours. When are you currently uh, open? When do you hope to? <laughs> I'm so sorry, people out there. Right. I, I'm still alive. So we are open Wednesday through Sunday, uh, 11 a.m. till 6 p.m. Uh, occasionally on Sunday we'll be closing a little earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have our bowling league on Sundays that we have to get to. So priorities. Yeah, yeah we have to close Goals. at five for that. Goals. Yeah, I mean we have to have some sort of hobbies. Cool. Life. Besides, yeah. yeah, I guess. If you call <laughs> it yeah, life, like but. that. Okay. And then, do you have any projected idea of when you might do the breakfast launch kind of thing? Do you have any? Hope? Yeah, definitely. As soon as the weather warms up at a constant time and. Mm-hmm. You know, it'll be somewhat tolerable to be outside. Mm-hmm. And for people like me, like, I take my coffee outside now, and I'm, I'm a happy mm-hmm. camper, but I know I'm not normal, so. Right, yeah. No, you're not, obviously, because it is cold out obviously there. Obviously not. <laughs> Give us the name of the business, where you're located, your phone number, all the important things, your hours, which I, like, mm-hmm. totally blipped on. Let's get it all in there before we run out of time, please. Uh, hideaway Steaks and Stuff. We are mm-hmm. located on Route 6, corner of 198 in, uh... Chapel in Connecticut, uh, open Wednesday through Sunday, 11 to 6. Uh, you can get all of us at 860-335-6724. Uh, we do catering, looking for business jobs. If you have a business and, you know, you want your catering for lunch, mm-hmm. we will gladly deliver that to you. If you call us, you know, mm-hmm. don't call us five minutes before you want it. Give us a little oh, heads up and we'll bring it down ahead. for you. Um, 
Can people call an order ahead of time and then pick it up after? Yeah. Yes, for sure. Definitely. That's what we're doing now. Yeah. And then how do you take payment? Uh, we take credit cards. Um, I mean, we have all sorts of payment. We take the Venmo, Cash App. Yeah. Okay, great. Whatever you got, we'll take it. No one will go hungry. Nope. That's right. No, not as long as I'm there. Well, <laughs> <we're> there. <laughs> that's right. Well, Jonathan, vote and Floyd Cross. Yeah, Co thank you very much. Partner owners of Hideaway Steaks and stuff. Thanks for being here on Ravings mm -hmm. and Cravings. This is Ruth Hartinian Allenbaugh signing off on Good Company W I L I.